No way. Come on, James. Faster. Right, stop. A soldier who has never fought, never met his enemy face to face, or never felt the strength of his enemy, is not ready psychologically or physically to fight. That is why the most important and the only possible way to overcome those fears is to practice and to spar. One thing you do learn in the paratroopers, though, is persistence. If you get knocked down, you've got to get back up again. Arms higher, arms higher! Come on! Go for the body! Stop! 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 Yes. Well done. Oh, that was a good lesson. You okay? Oh, I feel a bit sick, of course. Yeah, that's the army. Of course, hand to hand combat is a last resort. Ideally, our heavy artillery should make sure the enemy never gets that close. In our tank drills, we're out patrolling the hills almost every day. Riding on top is a double-edged sword. You're spared the intense heat from inside, but you have to hang on for dear life and hope you manage to inhale some air among the clouds of dust. But tanks are notoriously temperamental, and maintaining them is a full-time job. At first, we all have girlfriends. We call them and feel happy. Then in three or four, sometimes even five months, it's like, what's wrong? I've broken up with my girlfriend. Why? She cheated on me. How do you know? My friends told me. It happened to me too. Everything seemed to be fine. Then I called and her cell phone was off. Yeah, anyway, she's not the only one. Apparently, the army gives you women trouble. Who'd have thought it? Don't forget, it's not too long till I'm coming home. We've been moved into a field camp, so sadly my days of comfortable living are over. There are about 30 of us sharing a tent, and most of our chores involve digging out the ground for new ones to be put up. I'm spending a lot of time with my tank platoon. Apparently, they've got something special in store for me. I'm not sure whether to be worried or not. James, now we're going to drive a tank over you. This will test your courage and resolve. Brace yourself. Ready? Ready. Get into position here. Lie down. Head forward and tuck your gun under. Head in the right direction of the tank. Keep your elbows close. The closer you keep them, the lower you'll be. Ready? Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Stop! Congratulations! Your training has been a success. You've done it! The more you train your soldiers, the more you learn about them. You see what they can do and how they can do it. You become confident in them and in yourself as well. If anything were to happen, you're sure they'll do everything well. This unit is capable of performing any task because of this training. Listen up. The enemy's been identified. Our group is going to lie in ambush with the objective of capturing one of the captains, officers, or sergeants. Captain of the group, lay an ambush on this side. Is the task clear? 
Yes, sir. Begin. Understood. Move up, team. Gunner, get into position. Private Brown, smoke will signal the attack. You take the left flank, I'll take the right. I just got used to having the tanks on my side. Now we have to learn how to ambush one. What's your route? I'll never tell. What's the route? You sure? Out. We're taking the route across the pass. Fifteen light armored vehicles. They haven't taught us interrogation techniques yet. I think that must be an advanced course. One of the regular favourites here is buckwheat with a chunk of canned beef. But it's calories and we all empty our mess tins. Despite the fact that we're living in a muddy field, we still have to keep ourselves clean and tidy. And there are a few tricks I've been able to pick up. How do you feel altogether? I mean, at the beginning. Initially, we didn't understand each other at all, of course, because we were all from different cultures with different approaches to life. At first, there were conflicts, but in two or three weeks, we got used to each other and became friends. Everything's been fine since. You learn to get on with people. It's essential here. Your tunic is almost ready. We only have to dry it. When it's dry, it'll look fine. Just stamp it a bit more here so that it won't rip. Lights out! Lights out! Lights out! Tomorrow I get a chance of redemption. All the training, all the laughs, all the pain. I'm about to find out if it's been worth it. One thing's for sure, it's going to be terrifying. A couple of weeks ago, if you told me I'd be sitting on the tarmac, waiting to jump out of an aeroplane, I'd have laughed at you. My last training session on the practice tower was a disaster. I couldn't go through with it. That was only 40 meters. I'm about to try 800. Jumping from an Aleutian is worse than from an Antonov. With the Antonov, it's like jumping off a stool. You just drop. Nothing to be afraid of. But here, a strong gust catches you, and it's just amazing. Do you think you're ready, yeah? Yes, I am. Well, let's see. I hope so. We're waiting for what seems like hours. Eventually, we get the all clear. Good weather's due on the horizon. Perfect jumping conditions. There's no backing out this time. I'm going to have people in front of me and behind. If I don't go, no one else can. It's not an option. The equipment's checked one last time, and we're ready to fly. Everyone's handling it in a different way. There are guys here who've jumped three or four times, and there's me, who's never done it before. I'm trying to think about anything rather than what's about to happen as the plane takes off. I hope I'm in for a soft landing. First the tank goes out the back, and then it's our turn. This is what makes the VDV unique. The guys say it's better when you can't see the ground. I hope they're right.
<laughs> the moment you realize your chute's actually open must be the greatest feeling in the world. Sheer blissful relief. Turn with the wind direction. It's easy to lose your concentration, but you still have to think about landing. The wrong position could mean a broken leg, or worse. Disperse! Take the harness off. <laughs> I'd actually made it. For that brief moment, I felt like a paratrooper. <laughs> well, Private Brown, now you're more than just a parachute jumper. You're a real paratrooper. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Now, into position for the initiation. Into position for the initiation. Go on, let's do it. One, two, three. 501, 502, 503, pull. 504, 505. Canopy! Nobody but us. That's our motto. It's our way of life. No task is impossible. We can make it all happen. It doesn't matter what kind of situation it is. We have to be there first and fulfill the task to make our government proud of us. And this is our motto for life. It's how we live. Good luck. Goodbye, my friend. I'll see you, buddy. Right often. Don't forget us. Take care. Houston, don't break my hand. <laughs> I can see why everyone says they're different men after the army. It's some sacrifice these young soldiers have to make. For me, it was exhilarating, agonizing, heartbreaking, and amazing. But I won't lie, I'm relieved. I'm coming home.